Now this is another thrift shop bargain, published in 1972. This is ancient Greek coins, a really good substantial volume. It cost seven pound when it was new. It runs to some what, 309 pages. And it's by the keeper of the Department of Coins and Medals in the British Museum. So it's been a quality book of its time. Now the blurb that goes with it, numerous Greek coins, especially some of the larger silver pieces, are and have been regarded for many years as being amongst the finest masterpieces surviving of ancient art. Greek coins can be studied from two different angles, either geographically, following the development of the coins in one area from the earliest appearance, or they can be studied chronologically against the great canvas of the Greek world. It is the latter approach that the author takes. He first introduces the technical aspects of the coinage, the monetary and weight standards, and then goes on to survey the coinage throughout the Greek world, Carthage, Italy, Sicily, Greece, and the Aegean Islands, Egypt, and Asia Minor, dividing his subject into three main periods, archaic, classic, and Hellenistic. Most of the coins describe as small works of art in miniature. Some are only millimetres in diameter, and the weights are given, and things like that. So it is a really, really good book, and again, Thrift shop purchase, 50p, about a dollar. Um, the thrift shop in my local town kind of has big second-hand book selection. You normally get a huge shelf full of um, fiction stories, things like that. Then you get another shelf over the other side, which is full of kids' books. Then some sci-fi books. Well, that was actually on the kids' book shelf. So I couldn't believe it when I saw that. Ancient Greek Coins by G.K. Jenkins. So we'll have a quick flick through that. Ancient Greek coins. And some really spectacular colour illustrations in it. And what you pay for it second hand on the likes of eBay, I have no idea, but I would imagine books such as this have their own following among coin collectors, so I don't think it would be a cheap book to purchase second hand nowadays. There's something there somebody's written. Let's have a look at that. Characterizations of marriage. Mary Queen of Scots. Claim to the throne in England. There you go. Amazing what you find in old books. It's really well illustrated. So, if ancient Greek coins float your boat, then that's probably one to keep an eye out for. <clears throat> ancient Greek coins by G.K. Jenkins. Here he is, well illustrated. 